Now, police want to find out why a young woman was murdered by a masked man who forced his way into the car. CBS 2's V Win live at the 25th District Police Station in Belmont, Cragen, with more. Hi, V. Marissa and Aaron, this is just absolutely heartbreaking. The victim's family says she was out celebrating Halloween and was trick or treating with her twin sister and two nieces when a masked man jumped into their car and forced them to drive. Family identified the victim as 21 year old Myra, Myra Cornell. She was in the passenger seat when the masked man stuck a gun behind her back and demanded her cell phone and money. Family says Myra gave the gunman $40, but when she refused to give up her cell phone, he shot her twice in the back of the head. <laughs> Her father broke down in tears speaking to us for the first time after his daughter was killed. The family, as you can imagine, is just devastated and heartbroken. The victim's mother says she found out about what happened this morning when detectives showed up at her door. Chicago police got the call last night around 930 near Belden and Lawler, right across the street from Black Hawk Park. Officers got there to find the 21-year-old dead in the passenger seat of this black BMW. According to family, her twin sister was in the driver's seat and in the back seat, her twin sister's two daughters, ages one and two. The masked gunman jumped into the car in the 2200 block of North Long and forced them to drive several blocks before robbing them. The gunman ran off after the shooting. The only description we have of him right now is that he was wearing a mask and wearing all black. The family just wants the person responsible caught. She was a kind person. She never um, do anything to anybody and yeah lovely person we just want to know if somebody sees something to let us know and the police are. Now, right now, police are checking to see if there are any surveillance footage in the area. When we were out there this morning, we did notice a police camera, so they are hoping that footage in that neighborhood could help them identify a suspect. But at this time, they are still looking for that man. If you have any information that could help them with this case, please call police. You can remain anonymous. Reporting live from the 25th District Police Station, V. Wynn, CBS 2 News. Aaron, back to you. Such a sad story, V. Thank you.